Hey guys, this is Alan from Queen Creek Tropicals and today I'm going to be giving you everything you need to know in order to successfully grow your own pomegranate plants. Pomegranate fruit trees are one of the easiest fruit trees that we carry here at the nursery. The way I describe how easy it is to actually grow a pomegranate is if you can dig a hole, you can literally grab your pomegranate plant and throw it. If it lands in the hole, it will grow. It's that easy. Anyways, if you want to learn, keep on watching. So I got three pomegranates right here. I have Wonderful, I have AC Sweet, and uh, I forgot what other variety I have. But anyways, I have three of them. Now these pomegranates are not your regular pomegranates. And the reason I say that is because they got history. They used to be in the front of my property. And I actually made another video, maybe two years ago, about transplanting them. So if you have a pomegranate in the ground and you're wondering how to transplant it, well, check the video in the description and it will teach you everything you need to know in order to transplant your pomegranates. As you can see, they made it. If you watch that video, well, here they are. They made it. One, two, and three. Now the reason this one over here, it's smaller, is because the gophers got to it and they ate their roots. And even with the gopher destroying the roots after it was up, uh, transplanted, it still made it. Now it did get set back about a year compared to this guys right here. You can see they're a lot bigger. But yeah, it still made it because they are that easy to grow. So let's get to growing tips. Sun requirements. Pomegranates will take full sun anywhere in the United States. Full sun. I'm talking about blasting full sun. They do not like to be in the shade. In the shade, they don't like to grow much. So this area right here, you can see it's shaded right now. But literally, throughout the day, they usually get about, I would say, maybe six hours of direct sunlight before they start getting double sunlight. And that is enough for the plants, apparently. To grow and fruit as you can see I got some fruits right here so make sure if you're gonna plant a pomegranate in the ground make sure it's in full Sun even if you live here in the desert winter requirements all right pomegranates we don't do anything here in the winter time so winter time we do not frost protect them we do not cold protect them we just let them expose to the winter no issues at all. The coldest temperature I have seen them personally take is 19 degrees. If you get cold, colder in your area, I'm not sure how much colder they can take, but I think they will be okay. I think the only challenge you're gonna encounter in cooler areas is if your soil freezes because you are that cold for that long in your area. If that happens, you may have issues growing pomegranate in your area. All right, let's talk about the root system of pomegranates. Pomegranates have a deep root system. It, it goes straight down in the ground. So as your trees get older, you need to deep water. If you wanna learn how to deep water your plants, well, I got another video where I talk specifically how to deep water your plants. So go ahead and watch it. Growth structure. Pomegranates are not trees. If you ever seen a tree, well, it's not meant to be that way. Pomegranates are bushes, yes, you can make them a tree by pruning the lower branches and keeping a single or, or double trunk like this one here, which I did not intend for that to be that way. It just happened to be that way. Um, but naturally, you want them as, bush, uh, as a bush because you will get more flowers. More, more flowers means more fruits. So if fruits is what you are after, keep them bushy. Now, it depends on the variety. Some varieties, like this varieties right here, they will get maybe 15, 20 feet tall once fully grown. But I've seen varieties that get, you know, 30, 40 feet. Uh, it just depends on what variety you have, how tall your pomegranate will get. The good thing about pomegranates, though, is you can prune them because they will drop their leaves in the winter and you can just shape them whatever way you want every single year. So it's very easy to do. Flowering and fruiting. All right. Pomegranates flower in the spring and the fruits usually take almost all year to ripen. This pomegranates right here, you see, they have, they were flowers this spring, but they took this long to actually ripen. Season for pomegranates in my area is usually now, September, October, November. That's when you pick your pomegranates. If you pick them any earlier, they're not going to be fully ripened and they may not taste good. Now the main, oh, another thing is, um, pollination. You only need one pomegranate to get fruit, so you don't need to get several. But if you have more than one, they will cross-pollinate and give you more fruits. 
Um, but the main challenge with the fruits I have is they will bear tons of fruits. But the problem in my area, I don't have the bug right now to show you, but I have other guys. It's called the leaf footed bug. You can see I got some little critters right here on this fruit. Maybe you can see it with the glare. Yeah, they go around and uh, these guys, they just eat your fruits. It's no big deal. You will get those guys when your fruits are ripe. Now, the ones you gotta worry about, picture on the screen, it's called the leaf-footed bug. They look like a cricket with a pincher of a mosquito and they pierce the skin of your pomegranate, lay their eggs inside and they will spoil your fruit. We probably lose about 90% of our crop every single year to that bug because they just spoil the fruit. Is there anything you can do about it? Well, there are some people that individually wrap the fruits. You can put two, three layers, and yes, that will assure that your fruit will fully ripen without anybody eating it. Um, but we don't do that. Uh, we just let them be, and it's just what it is, guys. Soapy water will usually suffocate them. It will kill them, but you have to spray constantly, like probably, you know, two, three times weekly until your fruits are ripen. I mean, who's gonna do that? I don't. Um, if you want to do it organically. Um, if you want to go the easy way, that is pesticides, I, I don't like using those because I don't care what the label says, you, you will get in your fruit and you will eat that. So obviously they're not going to tell you the truth. So I don't, I don't believe anybody anymore. But anyways, yeah, so you can uh, soapy water and then try to control them. But you, if you, if you get those bugs in your area, you will lose a lot of your fruits. And you know it's them because your fruits are gonna drop early. Uh, your fruits are not gonna get full size like this one right here. And then a lot of the times they will just spoil on the tree and then just drop. If that's happening to you, that's why. Let's talk about watering. Uh, pomegranates. The first year you have your pomegranate in the ground, you follow the finger method. If you don't know what the finger method is, well, watch my other video where I teach people how to water their trees the first year in the ground. But just to give you a summary is, you go next to the trunk, you stick your finger in the soil all the way down, and when you no longer feel moisture on the tip of your finger, however long it took to go from wet to that point, that's exactly how often you're going to water that tree for the first summer or year. As your tree gets older, you need to deep water because the roots of this plant will go straight down in the ground. Now, pomegranates are drought tolerant. They can go a very long time without water once they are fully rooted in the ground. But if you don't water your plant, it will not grow. It will not give you fruits either. It's just going to take longer to die. So just because it's drought tolerant, it doesn't mean it's gonna grow amazingly. Fertilization, to be honest guys, I don't do anything. And these guys just grow. They grow, they fruit, they do their thing. And all I do is give them water. Nature will take care of everything else. Pomegranates are that easy, seriously. Uh, if you wanna help your tree, you can go ahead and put compost in the ground. You can't never go wrong with compost in the ground. And if your pomegranate is in a container, any slow release fertilizer will work. Let's talk about container growing. Can you grow your pomegranate in a container? Of course you can. Long term, I do not recommend it. Think of it this way. In the ground, you are going to get this right here. In a container, your pomegranate will get root bound very quickly and it will probably grow a lot slower than it will in the ground. If really slow growing, you know, not as much fruit is good for you, go hang and grow in a container. It's doable. But long term, I just don't recommend it because they just become root bound very quickly and you will need to up pot it all the time. Um, another thing with container growing is you can keep up potting them, but eventually you will get to a size that's going to be so big for you to handle that what are you going to do? So if you want to grow your pomegranate in a container, I have a recommendation for you. And that is you will need to root prune your pomegranate every single year. Take it out of the container prune the root system, put it back in the container, and then prune the canopy a little bit too. And that way you can keep it in the container long term. But anyways, um, that is how you grow a pomegranate in a container. So I just gave you everything you need to know about growing your own pomegranates. Like I said, these are gonna be my personal tips now. Pomegranates are the easiest plants to grow here at the nursery. Like I said, if you can dig a hole and throw the tree, 
If it lands in the hole, it will grow. It's that easy. Usually, the way I describe pomegranates and how easy it is for them to grow is if you kill a pomegranate, you try killing it. And if you did, here at the nursery, you will go in the hole of shame. To be honest, I only know one person in all the seven years I've been doing this that actually killed a pomegranate. So, and she tried. But anyways, easy, doable. If you want a fruit tree, low maintenance, try a pomegranate. My recommendation is always going to be to put it in the ground rather than keeping it in the container. Personal growing tips. To be honest, I don't have any guys. Just water it. Uh, like I said, they are drought tolerant and then they will take a long time to die without water. But if you don't water, they will not grow. Another thing is your tree may not hold its fruit as well the first year or two years they are in the ground because it takes them that long to root themselves fully in the ground. Until then, your trees are gonna drop their fruits very easily. If that's happening to you, that is okay. Don't worry about it, it's just normal. Another thing is, if you don't water your pomegranate and it has fruits, the first thing that's going to go, it's going to be your fruits. So if all of a sudden your fruits you know, fell off and you're wondering what the heck is going on, well, check your water. You probably did not water and your tree was in full sun for several days. The fruits do take several months to actually ripen, so a lot of things can happen in several months. And the last thing I want to tell you, which mainly happens in my area, I don't know if it will happen anywhere else, pomegranate plants usually flower here in the fall again because a lot of the plants in my area during fall time cooler nights hot days they think it's spring and that will trigger a lot of plants to flower now those flowers will not have enough time to fully develop into ripe fruit so if you see your pomegranates flowering in the fall that, that's why, because of the ambient temperatures. The ambient temperatures will dictate exactly where you, how your plants are going to behave. I don't know if that happens anywhere else in the US, I don't think so because my area is unique. Cold nights, hot days, usually anywhere else you get cold nights, cold days, but not here. So yeah, if you're getting flowers in the fall, that's normal. Another thing is in the containers, they are not very consistent with flowering. So usually you may get flowers in the summer, you may get flowers, you know, as soon as they wake up in the spring, you may get flowers in the fall. It just, they just do whatever they want. That is just because they are in the container. Don't worry about it. Anyways, hopefully this helps you out. Um, like I said, this, this, what, this is a how to grow your pomegranate video, but it's also an update video to the video that I posted about two years ago. Anyways, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and as always, I will see you next time.